Good morning, everybody. It is the end of the year, end of 2022. I just want to come on here and talk about how 2022 has been for me and do some reflection. It was a year that I would say that maybe 50% of it, maybe 75% of it, I would not want to repeat. There was a lot of struggles. But I did accomplish some stuff, but the accomplishments were done not too easy. Um, let's start off with work. Um, the market was just brutal for customers and trying to keep up with quotas was a struggle. I don't think I worked this hard in my life in the sense of the emotional and physical toll it took. Also driving into another city for work um, every day. <laughs> so we'll see um, how I can benefit from that this year when I file my income tax because it was rough. Um, lots of family situation that changed um, and stuff. Some of them good, some not too good, but let's just leave it at that. Um, I was able to accomplish some good stuff with family, introducing my new sister. And I found an ancestry DNA that was a long time coming. Um, went through COVID. That was crazy because it was the middle of a launch for a new community. There were times I thought I was going to pass out in the field. <laughs> and um, I survived it. And let's see what else. Things I did to my home. Did a lot more renovations. Um, I think, yeah, it was this, yeah, this year that I did my three bathrooms, which was great. It turned out very well. The one month of construction was really painful. <laughs> I would never repeat that again by doing construction while living in the home, especially like that. Um, my next major pro project that I took on is getting my pool put in. Swimming pool is turning out great. Um, didn't get completed this year, but it will be done, should be done next year in January, next month. So far, it's turning out good. I'll insert some clips after my um, speech here. But yeah, um, so it's just crazy because I'm, you know, last couple days, and I think a lot of my coworkers feel the same that we're just not looking forward to going into to next year with the same work situation that we had this year. I've never had any kind of anxiety about going to work before, but I do now because, you know, we barely made it through the year, <laughs> emotionally and physically. <laughs> and come January, upper management team, I'm sure, is going to be all revved up to be on top of us to produce more. And we're just not feeling it. We just want to be left alone and recuperate from 2022. So we're going to have to build up some mental strength and going into the year and just praying and hoping for the best. But we do not want to repeat. And I'm sure my coworkers feel that we do not want to repeat another friggin' 2022 the way it is. It was madness. Pure, pure madness with how we had to work. I mean, really, really didn't even get time off in the sense of you had days off, but you were still working from home, still working from home. So you hear me, the IRS, I will be claiming every single hours I had to work from home, <laughs> which was every day after work and during my days off. The phone would just kept ringing, ringing. I even had to get a second phone because my nerve was just shattered. And then you just dealt with people that I just don't know what was going on 
in 2022 that people were just all over the place. So they were just emotionally draining us, you know? So we gave it our all. And thank goodness I survived it. And I'm glad I'm one of the ones that really survived it well. And we'll see what 2023 brings. But this is the first time I'm going into a new year where I'm just feeling not too excited um, about work. Excited about everything else, but not about work. And I'm not that kind of person. So we'll see what it brings. And just take it one day at a time. But another note. Um, looking forward to some changes. For personal life. Home life. That should be exciting. For 2023. And I'm just looking forward to not bringing work home with me. Ever again in 2023. I'm going to do some boundaries. <laughs> yeah. Need a break. Um, didn't really get a vacation. Well, yeah. Didn't really get a real vacation. Um, I went places, but it wasn't really for me. It was for others, which is fine. So I dedicated 2022 to others. <laughs> That's what I gave a lot to others in 2022. So now I'm going to try to do for me in 2023. Um, again, really excited about my pool. Can't wait to decorate the outdoors. They um, finally put the screen up yesterday. I didn't want to really show it because they kind of left a mess on my decking and my coping. Because the dirt's still in the yard. So, they just um, stepped all over the white areas and got it all muddy and dirty. So, I was like, I'm not going to even show that. Maybe I will. <laughs> I don't know. Let's we'll see. But I can't wait for them to come back. Hoping they seal it. The pavers. Um, not sure why they didn't do it before. But they're going to have to put more than a little sand in it. But, you know, whatever. Once they get the yard um, back in order, I can call the landscaper out. I'm going to be doing a completely different yard. So that's going to be my next... Um, my 2023 plan is to have a completely different backyard. Sometimes you have to have projects in your home life to keep things going and keep things moving. There's a lot of projects since I bought this home. Next project is going to be really is the garage. Um, we have a three car garage, but the one that's a two car garage I would like to um, get that redone. And put in one of those um, garage opener that goes by the app. But yeah, that's going to be the project next year. I was thinking of changing out the windows, but I think I'm going to wait on that. Um, all the windows and stuff, I'm going to wait on that and not mess with that. Um, put some more energy efficient windows in. But first, I'm going to be working on the backyard. I can't wait to share that journey of what it's going to look like outside. But my fingers are itching from pushing the button on getting all the furniture for outside. And maybe looking into also putting a hot dog um, kitchen out there. I don't know if I'm going to get the, the one that you can just move and roll around or get them to construct one. I have to see. I'm going to do. So guys, I hope your 22, 2022 was better than mine. And um, happy new year. And I'll see you next year. All right. Bye-bye. Don't forget to subscribe. Click the notification bell. For more notifications. Take care. Bye-bye. Christmas. We're out here at Disney Springs, and look who I got with me out here. <laughs>
Great time out here. We're braving it, guys. We're braving it. <laughs> Everybody, cheers! Thank you for everyone. Long life, forever, mom. So, hi guys. Um, oh, nice and neat. Look at what I'm eating here. Lasagna, and there is Brenda. <laughs> We're her lasagna. Oh, I, ate so much, I ate so much food. <laughs> oh my gosh. All right, guys, bye. Merry Christmas everyone. We are here at Disney Spring and we are eating breakfast and sharing mm -hmm. photos. <laughs> mm -hmm. and, um, went to our daughter's uh, C16 party. Good morning, happy Boxing Day, happy after Christmas Day. On my way to pick up Brenda, her last day here in Orlando. Um, we're gonna go check out, then go to High Hop and maybe um, find a store, maybe Ross or Target or something before um, taking her to the train station. So I'll check in with you. Talk to you later. Bye -bye. Good morning, we're over here at High Hop waiting for our breakfast. Yeah, Brenda over there. She really enjoyed her time. And then we are going to do liquor shopping and then go to the train station. I'll see you later.